Welcome mathematicians. In this video today we'll be looking at the use of matrices to solve simultaneous equations. In particular we'll be looking at simultaneous equations that have no unique solutions. So this video is a follow-on from a previous video regarding the use of matrices for simultaneous equations. And in this we looked at how to set up a simultaneous equation as a matrix. We looked at how we can solve a simultaneous equation as a matrix. And we also looked at the long version of how to actually derive this solution for an inverse matrix, as well as a few practice questions. So before viewing this video, I strongly recommend you have a look at my original simultaneous equation video. Example number one, consider the following simultaneous equations. So we have this in a general format of a coefficient matrix A, an unknown matrix X, and an end result matrix B. So here we have our x's are represented in the first column of the coefficient matrix, that's the 3 and a 5. Our y are represented with the 2 and the 4. Our unknowns, the x and y in the second matrix. And finally, our results, the 36 and the 64 in the final matrix B. So we can find the unknown matrix x by multiplying the inverse of A to matrix B. And we do so to find a solution. And that comes out with a value of x equals 8 and y equals 6. Let's now examine this result using the TI Inspire CAS calculator and the DEMOS graphing calculator. Finding the solution using the TI Inspire CAS calculator, we have 3254, a 2 by 2 inverse matrix multiplied by the total matrix of 36 and 64. And when we multiply them together, we get a solution set, an answer of x equals 8 and y equals 6. We're now going to enter in our two simultaneous equations into the DEMOS graphing calculator. There's our first relationship and our second equation. You notice here the two lines intersect at one point. The intercept point is an x of 8 and a y of 6. It's exactly the same as the solution for our simultaneous equation. This is just looking at it from a visual perspective. Example number two. The equations we have are 7x plus y equals 25 and 5x take y equals 11. Once again, we use our general format of a, the coefficient matrix 7, 1, 5, negative 1, x the unknown, x, y, and b the result, the 25, 11. So we rearrange to find for the unknown, where we take the inverse of a and multiply it to b, and this gives us an answer of x equals 3 and y equals 4. Let's now examine this result using the TI Inspire CAS calculator and the DEMOS graphing calculator. Again, using the TI Inspire CAS calculator, we have the inverse of 7151 as a 2x2 two matrix, and we're multiplying it by 2511, a 2x1 matrix. The answer to that is x equals 3 and y equals 4. Let's once again use our DEMOS graphing calculator. We'll enter in our first equation, and now we enter in our second equation. We can see clearly these lines overlap and intersect again. The point of intersection is a value of x equals 3 and y equals 4. Once again, this represents the solution for our simultaneous equations. Example number three, let's consider this simultaneous equation, 3x plus y equals four, 6x plus 2y equals six. We can set this up using our traditional matrix approach. Here we have our coefficient matrix and our unknown matrix and our end result B matrix, four and six. We can try and find the solution by multiplying the inverse of A by B we do so, let's have a look at this on the TI Inspire CAS calculator. Once again, we have the TI Inspire CAS calculator. We have the inverse matrix here of 3, 1, 6, 2, a 2 by 2 matrix. And we're multiplying it by the total of a 4, 6, 2 by 1 matrix to get our answer. Oh, it comes up with the word singular matrix. If we try and find the determinant of our original matrix, a 3, 1, 6, 2, 2 by 2 matrix, this is what we get back. Determinant of zero. Now, when you have a determinant of zero, we can't actually calculate an inverse matrix. Mm, we hit a problem here because our determinant is zero. This has no unique solution. To better understand why, let's have a look at this graphically. Let's investigate this further using the Desmos graphing calculator. There we have equation one and equation two. Now if we look closely at this graph, we can clearly see that both graphs are running parallel to each other with exactly the same gradient they're never going to intersect. So visually, this demonstrates how it's impossible to have a solution set of these two linear equations. They will never intersect at a particular point. This arrangement where two equations run parallel to one another are described as inconsistent equations. 
Example 4. Let's consider the following situation here. We have 4x plus 2y equals 10 and 2x plus y equals 5. So we have our general equation format, which shows clearly the coefficient matrix multiplied by the unknown matrix to give us our result matrix. And again, we try and calculate now the unknown matrix by multiplying the inverse of A by the matrix B. So we set this up, and now let's look at the end result using the TI Inspire CAS calculator. Using the TI Inspire CAS calculator, once again, we take the inverse of our 4221202 matrix, and we multiply it by our 2 by 1 matrix containing the elements 10 and 5. Again, we get the message singular matrix. When we find the determinant of this original matrix, we find it's zero. So this is why we have our error, a singular matrix. You cannot find an inverse matrix when the determinant is zero. Once again, we have a determinant of zero. So unfortunately, there are no unique solutions to this simultaneous equation. Let's have a look at this graphically using the Desmos simulator. Let's use the Desmos graphing calculator to plot this pair of simultaneous equations. There's our first plot, and there's our second plot. What you'll notice is both lines are exactly on top of one another. In actual fact, these two equations represent the same line. Two equations that represent exactly the same line are described as dependent equations. And this isn't a matter of we don't have a solution. Because they overlap, we have infinite solutions. So our first example, 3x plus 2y equals 36 and 5x plus 4y equals 64. We can solve this and find an answer for both x and y. We can graph this and we can find an intercept point and that corresponds to the same value of x being 8 and y being 6. So we do have a unique solution for this particular simultaneous equation. We had 7x plus y equals 25 and 5x take y equals 11. We can place that in the calculator and find a solution where x equals 3 and y equals 4. We can graph that and we also get the same solution where x equals 3 and y equals 4. So this has a unique solution. Example number 3, 3x plus y equals 4 and 6x plus 2y equals 6. We put this in the calculator and we come up with a singular matrix error. We now know a singular matrix means this matrix has a determinant of 0. Now graphically, these two equations run parallel, which explains why they never actually cross over at a unique position. So these are parallel lines. They have no intercept point. These are described as inconsistent equations. And there is no unique solution for these two simultaneous equations. Example 4. 4x plus 2y equals 10 and 2x plus y equals 5. This also comes up with a singular matrix error, meaning the determinant is 0. So when we try and graph this, we find these two equations lie directly on top of each other. They are, in effect, the same line. Now this scenario means we've got multiple intercept points. There's not one singular intercept point. There are an infinite number of intercept points. So we have here identical lines, infinite intercept points, and these two equations are called dependent equations. Once again, no unique solution is possible. Question 1 from VCAR Exam 1 2018 states, which one of the following matrices has a determinant of 0? So let's have a look. We're simply looking at multiplying the two diagonals and subtracting the secondary diagonal from the main diagonal. So 0 times 0 take away 1 times 1 gives me negative 1. That does not have a determinant of 0. So we can eliminate that from our options. Determinant of option B, 1 times 1, take away 0 times 0. That gives us 1. That's not a determinant of 0 either. Option C, we've got 1 times 6, take away minus 3 times 2. 6 take away negative 6 gives us 12. That also is not a determinant of 0. Option D, we have 3 times 4, take away 2 times 6. 12 take away 12 is 0. That is our answer. That is the determinant of 0. But let's finish this off. Option E, 4 times minus 2, take away 0 times 0. That gives us minus 8 take 0, which is minus 8. So we can confirm that option D was the correct answer. Our second question comes from question 3 of the VCAR exam 1, 2017. And the question asks, which of the following matrix equations has a unique solution? Now, when we look at the term unique solution, what we really mean is a determinant that isn't equal to zero. So when we look at these problems, they look confusing, but we're only looking at this first matrix on the left-hand side and calculating the determinant to see which one has the determinant that is not equal to zero. So in our first one, it's one times one on the main diagonal, take away one times one on the alternate diagonal. So that gives me a determinant of zero. So it is not option A, because option A does not have a unique solution. 
Let's look at the determinant b. So we've got a 6 times 4, take away a minus 4 times minus 6. So that's going to be 24, take away 24. That also has a determinant of 0. It's not our correct answer. Option C, the determinant for C is 8 times 2, take away 4 times negative 4. That gives me 16, take negative 16, which is 32. Now this option does have a determinant that isn't equal to 0. That does have a unique solution. So that's our answer. But we'll continue on, just to make certain we're doing this right. Now, the determinant of D is 7 times 0, which is 0, take away 5 times 0. That again has a determinant of 0, which cannot have a unique solution. And finally, option E, 4 times negative 3, take away 6 times negative 2. If we look at that, that gives us minus 12, take away minus 12, which is 0. Yet again, that does not have a unique solution. So our correct answer is option C. Our final question comes from question 3 of the VCAR exam 1 2016. It states, the matrix equation below represents a pair of simultaneous linear equations. So we have here our matrix equation. These simultaneous equations have no unique solution when m is equal to. Now again, let's focus on the no unique solution. That means they have a determinant of 0. Okay? A no unique solution means there is the determinant of 0 when m is equal to. So we've just got to work out which of these numbers placed in the position m will generate a determinant of 0. So first of all, if m was negative 4, we'd have 12 times 3, which is 36, take away negative 4 times 9, negative 36. So 36 take negative 36 is 72. That is not a determinant of 0. So it's ruled out. Option B, we replace m with minus 3. So again, 12 times 3, take away negative 3 times 9. So that produces a value of 63. Again, we do not have a determinant of 0 in option B. Option C. We replace m by the value of 0. So 12 times 3 take away 0 times 9 just leaves me with 36. That is not a determinant of 0. Option D, we replace m with the number 3. 12 times 3 take away 3 times 9. It's 36 take away 27. It leaves a determinant of 9. So that's not 0 either. Only leaves us with option E. Let's hope this is right. The determinant of E is going to be 12 times 3 on the main diagonal take away 4 times 9. Both of these generate the number of 36. So 36 take 36 does in fact give me a determinant of 0. So our answer is option E. Thank you for watching this video on simultaneous equations, specifically with no unique solutions. If you've enjoyed this video and learnt something from it, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.